Blue spiky lines, red bumpy lines, we see these on our weather maps all the time. But what are these fronts, and what do they mean for our weather? As the atmosphere flows around the planet, it tends to do so in large air masses, each of which has fairly uniform conditions of temperature and humidity. It's at the boundaries between these air masses that we find weather fronts. If a cold, dry air mass pushes into a warm, humid air mass, we have a cold front. And as the colder, denser air advances, it forms a steep wedge that forces the warm air in its path upward very quickly. Clouds form right at the front. This typically produces very abrupt, sometimes very intense active weather. If a warm, humid air mass pushes into a cool, drier air mass, we have a warm front. With warm air overtaking cooler, denser air, the warm air is forced upward, but at a much gentler slope than with a cold front. This produces widespread cloud and precipitation along the front and just ahead of it. And as the warm, humid air flows further up that gentle slope, it results in mid-level clouds ahead of the active weather, cirrus clouds far out in front. We don't necessarily need moving air masses, though. If there is an abrupt boundary between two air masses, but neither is intruding into the other's space, we have a stationary front. This can result in the same kind of weather associated with a warm front, but which can last for much longer, sometimes for days at a time. And finally, there's the case of the occluded front, where the fronts themselves push into one another as a fast-moving cold front overtakes a slower-moving warm front. As the two fronts meet, the warm air between them is pushed upward, but the denser air behind the cold front also wedges the cool air ahead of the warm front upwards too, lifting the entire boundary between cool and warm air completely off the ground. Due to the combo of cold front and warm front conditions, this often results in a combination of the weather from both as well, producing active, sometimes severe weather along the occlusion. So this wraps up season one, as we've gone through all the basics of weather, from why we have it, to the individual components and how they come together to produce our active weather. In season two, we're going to focus in on the action to talk about thunderstorms, lightning, tornadoes, hurricanes, and other extremes as we all become a bit more weather-wise.